you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Watching recent events over the last few days has been like watching a slow-motion horror movie. Seeing innocent people fleeing for their lives, the scenes of utter desperation at Kabul airport, women and girls being airbrushed out, their future uncertain. But this is real life, and those scenes will stay with me. And I can't imagine how our armed forces personnel must feel, their families, uh, many who've served in Afghanistan, many members here who served in Afghanistan, and many families who lost loved ones. And I am horrified, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm horrified that this government has not stepped in earlier to do something to prevent this. Horrified that this government has sat back and watched this unfold. Horrified that the Foreign Secretary could sit on a beach in Crete on the day that Kabul fell. This has been a catastrophic failure of Western leaders. And now we simply get a debate in the House of Commons. No vote, no binding resolution on the government. And I think we can be of no doubt, Mr Deputy Speaker, of the views of this House towards this government's actions. And as the Taliban continue to increase their dominance, violence and forced displacement continue to rise, assurances from the Taliban leadership are not enough. They are words we've heard before. We know they will target those they've always targeted. Women and girls, religious minorities, political opponents, journalists, human rights activists, jihadist groups are celebrating. That is all we need to know, and we should feel ashamed. We are betraying those we had promised we would help, leaving people who relied on us at the mercy of their enemy. And we must help provide those safe and legal routes and sanctuary for all those in danger, and not simply those who were directly employed by the UK government. And 20,000 refugees over five years is simply not good enough. I am proud our Welsh Labour government has made clear its warm welcome to any refugees and is working with the Home Office to provide and be a nation of sanctuary. Mr Deputy Speaker, I know that the words Global Britain are hollow in the face of what we are witnessing. I urge this government to work with our international partners to face up to our moral duty to offer support and do something for the women and girls over there, the women and girls who throw away their certificates, their education because they are scared. Enough smoke and mirrors. Now is time for real action. Robert Neil.